it's week six. It's four and one and one and oh Ohio and two and four and one and one Central Michigan. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats, and welcome to Bobcat TV's football game week preview. Athens, Ohio, Ohio University, homecoming, and the 2013 season. It's a special town, a special school, a special Saturday, and what's shaping up to be a special kind of season. Those that are coming back home for the first time in quite some time to this quintessentially collegiate campus on this classic college occasion, well, they share some of the same beliefs with those that are here all the time. They're proud to be Bobcats. They feel the Bobcat football is in a great spot, and they know that there's more winning to come. There's a lot to manage at homecoming, a lot of activities, and past the pomp and circumstance of it all, from a football perspective, this is a great chance to keep the momentum rolling. It's a great opportunity for Ohio to fire up win number five of the season and win number two in two tries in MAC play. Let's preview the opponent. Here's a look at CMU. For several years, the path to the MAC title meant getting past the men from Mount Pleasant. The Chippewas captured the conference crown in 2006 and 2009 by besting the Bobcats in Detroit. CMU also won it all in 2007. All told, they've captured seven MAC crowns since joining the league. The years they clipped the Cats, they also went on to win in a bowl. And last year, like Ohio, the Chips won in a bowl again. A nail-biting 24-21 Little Caesars Bowl win over Western Kentucky. This year, they lost at Michigan, blew a lead, and was busted in Vegas against UNLV. They were blown out at NC State and in their league opener with Toledo. The two wins over 1AA New Hampshire with the last second field goal, and last week, 21-9 at Miami. They lost their starting quarterback to injury in Week 2 against UNH, so redshirt freshman Cooper Rush was pressed into action. He's thrown for just under 1,100 yards, but is on the wrong side of the TD-INT comparison. He's thrown eight interceptions and six touchdowns. Running back Zerlon Tipton is also hurt. Sailor Lavalli is filled in well with 521 yards and five touchdowns. The offensive star is talented receiver Titus Davis. He has 518 receiving yards this season and four touchdowns. He's second amongst active players with 19 yards per catch and ninth in receiving yards per game in the country with 71. CMU has always had hard-nosed defensive players, and that tradition lives on with linebacker Justin Shiroki. He's tops in the MAC and seventh nationally with 62 tackles. He tied his career high with 15 stops against Toledo. He has three of their 14 sacks and seven total tackles for loss. Kevon Frazier and Jason Wilson each have two of CMU's six interceptions. Dan Enos is in his fourth season as head coach and is 15 and 28. His defense this year is fourth in the MAC and his offense is eighth in the league. It's meeting 29 in the all-time series, and historically, Ohio has struggled against CMU, winning just five of those games. There was a time in 14 straight games that Ohio didn't capture a victory. Past the MAC championship games, these two teams have met up twice recently in the regular season. Back in 2008, Ohio had a chance to win the ball game in the final drive of the game, but there was a fumble at the north end zone here at Peden Stadium, and Ohio lost it 31-28. The last time Ohio went up to Mount Pleasant, they controlled the chips at Kelly Shores winning 43 to 28. That was back in 2011. It's on ESPN3, but our radio network coverage starts at 1 o'clock with a kick at 2. It's expected to be a sellout, so get here early to enjoy all that is the splendor of homecoming in Athens. Happy homecoming, everybody. For Tanner Smith and Tony Ermain, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.